What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Nathan and today we're taking a look at a very odd yet powerful vehicle in the game of SnowRunner. Personally, I like to call it the big yellow monster. So without further ado, here is the Caterpillar 745C. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the video and share it as well. So let's get into this. Roll the tape. Upon scouting Mountain River near the White Valley Tunnel, on a back road next to a house sits a monster of a vehicle. One of the most exciting tasks in the game is unlocking this free vehicle, the Caterpillar 745C. On this off-road journey we call SnowRunner, you quickly realize it's nothing like any of the vehicles in the game so far. It's truly exhilarating, refreshing, and exciting to roll up on the cat because you know that this vehicle changes the game from this point on. Alright, let's dive in and check it out. Before we jump right into the pros and cons, let's check out the base stats first. The CAT 745C falls into the heavy category weighing 22 tons, has a power to weight ratio of B+, a durability of A+, fuel consumption B-, fuel capacity is 340 liters or 90 gallons, has a stock suspension, its tires also come with a 71 inch mud tire with multiple variants, it comes with all-wheel drive switchable and stiff lock is switchable as well. All right, let's talk about the bad news and the good news. Let's dive into the pros and cons of the CAT 745C. And of course, you know we're gonna talk about the cons first, so here are the downsides. Number one, large front overhang. One major thing you notice when you roll up to the CAT 745C is it has a huge chin. Front overhangs can be prone to damage in rough areas and pitfalls. This downside will sometimes be a damage magnet and other times it will just glide above the terrain due to the upward slope of the front. But overall, it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but it can be frustrating at times. Downside number two, versatility and customization. So being a specialized vehicle, the CAT 745C just doesn't have a lot of options for versatility and customizations. Some examples of this downside are, number one, the CAT cannot change its color, so I hope you like the color yellow. Number two, the 745C just cannot equip a snorkel, so it limits it to just mud or shallow water crossings. Number three, it doesn't have the option to attach a low or a high saddle, and even worse, it cannot even attach a hitch trailer. These are huge downsides and deterrents to drivers that want to deliver large cargo loads. It can, however, use the fuel tank and a container add-on giving it the ability to carry two slot containers. In a recent phase release, it can also carry medium logs without a trailer, which does give it more value. Other than that, it's pretty limited. Coming in at number three, steering. The CAT has this all new articulating steering capability, which can be a hindrance in some ways. Using this truck to rescue vehicles will sometimes bring you to areas that have a lot of obstacles or trees. Manipulating the vehicle's articulated steering to maneuver around and position can be an issue. Sometimes during vehicle rescues, you'll find yourself taking more time positioning in the 745C than pulling the vehicle you're saving. So with that being said, just be careful in tight areas not to snag yourself on trees or other obstacles. Downside number four, no chain tires. The tires are a part of my upsides but upon using the vehicle in areas like Amandra and other places that have large icy hills, whether they are paved or not pose issues for the 745C. I found myself towing the cat with another vehicle that had chain tires until I could not unleash the yellow monster to attack the snow. And lastly, at number five downside, fuel consumption. I gotta say, this vehicle just loves to drink fuel. It does have a 340 liter, 90 gallon tank, which does help, but the CAT's Westline V16 engine is rather thirsty. This downside can deter drivers due to fear of being stranded, but adding its fuel carrier add-on will give it more range. You could also downgrade the engine or the gearbox to increase fuel economy, but it would take away some of the pros that we're about to list. And who wants downgrades anyways? Sweet, upside time. Here are the pros for the CAT 745C. Upside number one heavy weight on large wheels. Like the Pacific P12, the CAT 745C weighs 22 tons, but it boasts a 71 inch stock mud tire with multiple variants. 
The only vehicle in the game that has a larger tire is the CAT 770G at 74 inches. Having the second largest tires in the game with being super heavy makes this vehicle one of the best off-road performers in SnowRunner. This combination is basically a driver's dream. Upside number two, it's stable. My biggest pet peeve is flipping in the game of SnowRunner, so when I find a vehicle that's stable, I tend to gravitate toward it. The 745C probably is one of the wider vehicles in the game, partially due to its massive tires giving it more resistance to overturning. Even with an awkward articulating steering, the CAT still seems to keep itself upright which merits its way onto the pros list. Moving on to the number 3 upside, mud and snow performance. Let's be real for a minute, everyone is looking for that vehicle that just eats up anything you throw at it. Personally, I believe the 745C is one of those vehicles. A strong engine, heavy weight, and massive tires all are contributors to its great performance in deep areas. The Caterpillar thrived in places like Imandra with super snow or any place that had thick mud. In my humble opinion, it might be one of the best trucks for deep snow or mud. Coming in at the number 4 upside, it's the strongest rescue vehicle. The Caterpillar has a really strong winch, which is needed to pull itself out of situations or other vehicles as well. In my SnowRunner journey, my go-to rescue vehicle is the 745C with a fuel carrier. It really has yet to fail me on rescue missions. When it comes to pulling stuck or overturned vehicles, it answers the call. Personally, I would choose this truck to rescue over any other vehicle, and the reason for that is up next on our last upside. And finally, upside number 5, all-wheel drive and diff lock. Sometimes the 745C will have to downshift from auto in rough areas, but with a flick of a few switches, the cat becomes this unstoppable beast. As soon as you activate all-wheel drive, low gear, and diff lock, it just laughs at deep mud and snow. To describe it, it somewhat feels like it's a transformer or something. It just behaves so much different when you engage all those that I just listed above. And yes, you will go slower, but the terrain you face doesn't have an answer for that type of beast. In the toughest places for other vehicles like Amandra, the Yukon, or Wisconsin, the 745C feels right at home. So in conclusion, the cat is a slow lumbering beast that has limited use. Out of those limited capabilities, I believe it's a top performer at hauling medium logs, rescuing, or delivering cargo containers through the roughest of areas. Although its downsides can be difficult to manage, effective planning and safe driving will mitigate them. This is one of the most powerful vehicles in the game, hands down, when all-wheel drive and diff lock are activated. The 745C has indeed made the hardest areas in the game easy to the point of laughter at how well it does. The CAT 745C just changes your confidence level by knowing that you have a monster in the garage as a contingency plan waiting to be called upon. The wow factor of the 745C just doesn't stop after you initially find this vehicle on Mountain River. Try it out and let me know what you think. I hope this review gave you a fresh new perspective on the CAT 745C. Please smash the like button, leave me a comment on what truck you would like to see next, Definitely share this video with someone who is struggling with the game and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless and stay upright.